Oh, that's a good one. I, I would agree. say that I'm proud of you and don't let anything take, like, oh, that's a really good one. I, would, I would say don't let any, oh, that's a really good question. I'm all alone, I know it too well. And I know it won't help, but I'm telling myself. Welcome to the Socials of 94.381. My name is Bharat and I'm super excited today because I'm joined with the super talented Jamie Miller who's joining us from Los Angeles today. Jamie, finally, uh, I get to ask all the, one, all the questions that I have for you. I'm really excited. Firstly, many congrats on the wonderful EP that you've made. Uh, it's got uh, it's it's a whole emotional journey you know i mean it's it's so wonderful firstly i would uh, keeping the ep uh, in the foreground i would like to ask you what makes this ep so special and what was the process of envisioning it and uh, building it like what was the starting point for you what was the inception for this ep in particular i would say honestly that's a good question because like last year in 2022 was like a pretty rough year for me personally and mentally um, and I went through it kind of with my mental health and got to a place where I was just like, I didn't know if I was ever going to be happy again. And I know that, I know that sounds really like sad, but it, it was like really, really prominent in that time in my life where I was like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to smile and mean it again. And then obviously going through therapy, speaking to my family, there was a lot of things that I think I suppressed in in life where i got to a point of obviously last year hitting the point of rock bottom and i feel like just for me like there was so many things that i left and said um that i wish i probably would have shared with people um whether that be in relationships and friendships in like my work relationships and i think for me like this ep was like a time for me to honestly just be really honest with myself and dig deep into a way that i never would have before I felt really uncomfortable honestly speaking about my feelings um, prior to this EP and I think this EP helped me get through all the things that I needed to get through and more so it's, it's really special and it holds a dear place in my heart just because I feel like I've healed with this music and it's, it feels it feels wonderful wonderful I think you know the art you, the art that any artist works on is a reflection of the state of being and uh, kudos to you for being so honest about uh, your journey and uh, talking about the EP I would want to uh, ask you about the song in particular which is called only uh, which is called only place uh, what was what was the uh, story behind it how, how did uh, this come to be uh, um, only place for me is like my revenge song let's say I feel like there was some I was in a I was in a little situation ship, let's say, where I was just okay. really unhappy. And I feel like I was just, I feel like we all, in life, we all go through relationships where we're not happy in sometimes, right? And I feel like we all have to stay the course to see if anything changes because it was so good in the beginning. And then, mm -hmm. yeah, I was just in a situation where I felt like I was just in a very toxic relationship, let's say, and they just always thought they could do whatever they wanted, say whatever they wanted, and Jamie was always going to stay. And then one day I woke up, I was like, I don't need to take this anymore. Like, I don't need to be in a situation where it's not filling my cup or it's like not making me happy. So, yeah, Owning Place was like one of the, one of the moments where I was like, okay, I can finally have a moment to be like, <laughs> and, <laughs> it sounds like exactly quite what? a it sounds like quite a cathartic experience, yeah. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, that's a, great, that's a great way to put it. It's a very cathartic experience. Right, right. And also, you know, there's, there's this uh, song in your EP. Firstly, I really love the title. When I was listening to the uh, the whole EP, uh, there was this title called uh, Rooting For You. Uh, I quite liked it because uh, in, we come across so many people in life who root for us and we also root for. So, uh, if I were to ask you, who are the ones that have always, in this journey of yours, you know, uh, who are the ones who have always rooted for you, if I were to ask you? Honestly, like, Rooting For You has a double meaning. It was about someone who broke my heart that I still had, like, so much love for. But I think, okay. and if we're talking just, like, retrospect, like, retro, what's the word? In retrospect, In retrospect. Um, <laughs> yeah, my family and my friends have always, like, been there for me and always rooted for me. When I had nothing, so now, like, even going on tour right now, it's just, like, regardless of if I'm on tour, if I worked in a coffee shop, they would always be the ones like always by my side so definitely that 
wonderful wonderful and you know we were just talking to the fans we were talking to the fans from india uh, you know they are the ones i mean in general uh, you know our family and friends are of course there they lay the foundation but uh, you know as you go along your journey you come across so many fans and well wishers and supporters what's been your most heart touching uh, fan experience yet uh, the people who rooted for you what would that be Honestly, I'm on tour right now, and there's been so many. Like, I feel like just coming, people coming up to me and meet and greets and telling me that my music saved their life, and just the way that like people like when people are in line and I see them smiling and tearing up to get a picture with me. That's how I used to be with my favorite celebrities when I used to go to concerts. So it's honestly just mind blowing that I get to do this, and I feel like it's just one of those things where it'll never ever be normal to me that I get to call this my job. So. I'm just very, very grateful. Great, great, great. If I were to ask you, what's your, what's been your favorite song from this uh, EP? Uh, you know, there's one. I mean, usually with artists, the case is that there's something that they really attach to. You know, in the whole barrage of the work that they've done, the body of work that they have, there's something that they particularly really attach to. So, what would that, what would that song that uh, really resonates with you personally? What would that song be out of the whole EP? I would say honestly, I, I think maybe next time is a very, very amazing experience for me. Like just to. I listen back to that song now, and I'm I feel very proud of it. And I think looking back, I wrote it in such a hard moment of my life. But now I listen back, and I'm like, wow, we got through some, we got through some, through some hard, hard stuff. And I think that's one song I'm really proud of. And even no matter what, no matter what's my little baby, and I'm not used to writing like happy, happy records. <laughs> so when I wrote no matter, that was like pretty special to me also. Yeah, we're gonna move forward to the. The next question that I have for you, uh, you know, the EP is called "The Things I Left Unsaid." Um, you know, yeah. across the lifespan, of our own respective lifespans, a lot of things that we feel that we've left unsaid. You know, it could be, mm-hmm. uh, you know, uh, so what would be that thing that you probably, uh, you know, is there any regret that you have about a thing that you've probably left unsaid, or you're really joyous about? Uh, if to answer both, if you could, I would say that. Like I am definitely in a mindset now of like not leaving things unsaid, and I definitely think going to therapy this past year has been one that's taught me to like never leave anything that's on my heart like unsaid. And I feel like a problem shared is a problem halved, you know. And I feel like for me that is one of the most best lessons I could have learned this year, just coming back into like my myself. And after losing myself for so long, I don't think there's anything that I've I've regretted that I've unsaid or anything like that, but I definitely think like saying it out loud has helped me help me heal for sure. Whoa, wow, man! I mean, uh, more power to you, honestly. Uh, I think it's it's uh, people really store and bottle up their emotions, and you know, it uh, through the course of time, it just turns into these deep uh, complexities. And I'm I'm great. I mean, I think for you in your case, it's also the uh, you know why the means of your music is where you're also exuding all your emotions and also doing it through therapy. So more power to you. Uh, but uh, you know, you also spoke about the fact that you sort of felt a little lost. Uh, you've had a wonderful, tremendous journey. You know, being a part of the voice and uh, you know uh, mm. being on the stage where you know you're touring and people are loving your music and you're getting so much of love and adulation what would you uh, say in retrospect to the Jamie the young Jamie uh, that started out with all this innocence and dreams in his eyes what would you say to him i would say oh that's a good one I'm i would crazy. say that i'm proud of you and don't let anything take like oh, that's a really good i would, I would say don't let any oh. That's a really good question. Thank you so much, Jamie. Thank you. I would say it's gonna be okay. I would say like it's everything. Everything takes time. Don't let the people that told you that you're not good enough stay in the back of your mind because that's gonna happen, and you're gonna get through everything that you thought that wasn't possible, and you're gonna be just fine. Great, great. Um, yeah, I think uh, it's a. Wonderful thing to say. So, Jamie, if I were to ask you, what's in store for Jamie Miller next? Uh, you know, you had this EP touring. I'm sure you're working on a barrage of new music as well, and a lot of other things that you probably might want to disclose, might not want to disclose. So, what's in store for Jamie Miller next? If I were to ask you, I would say I'm going. I'm planning my own headline tour right now across the world, which I'm really excited about. And then I'm working on new music. I feel like I'm just gonna keep. Putting new music out, connecting to everybody that that supports me, and just want to keep getting on the road. Maybe dive into some acting stuff, which would be cool. 
and just just keep branching out into into things that I never thought was possible, which I'm really excited about. Well, more power to you for that, uh, Jamie. My last question for you today, uh, like I said earlier, it's been an absolute pleasure. But I would want to ask you. You know, we started with the fans. We started with the fans sharing their message with you. What would you like to say to the fans? And if you could even hum a few lines from any of your favorite songs from the EP. I'm all alone. I know it too well, and I know it won't help. But I'm telling myself. Maybe next time I'll be enough. You give me everything instead of giving up. We got a thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you so much, Jamie. It's been an absolute pleasure doing this with you. Thank you so much. Really looking forward to uh, everything that you do, and hope to see you in some big Hollywood movie now. Uh, <laughs> even with <laughs> acting. Uh, Opportunities and maybe you do a musical uh, and uh, sing a song as well in that. So, all right. Thank you. Thank you so much for taking the time, uh, Jenny, and uh, hope to see you around. And uh, please uh, do visit ninety four point three one when you are in India. We would love to host you. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much, Jenny. Thank you so much. All right, right guys. Bye bye. Ninety four point three Radio One.